I mean, it's always, you can't take anything out of the equation. And he was very good in the first. Um, it's a long wait, but it's a long wait for their guy, too. And he got out there, and he looked better when he got back out. Um, Michael's been through that before. He seems, unfortunately, to be the guy that keeps getting stuck in uh, games that are affected by rain one way or the other. But he's um, he's tough and uh, just couldn't find a real good feel for, for his stuff after that. It was very good up until that point. His first inning looked real nice. Is that it looked like the ball from the middle of the plate a little too much. Is that yeah, I think more than anything else was just trying to find a feel for secondary pitches. Um, but you know, I couldn't tell exactly where some of those balls were with fastballs. But um, you know, it, his, uh, his uh, changeup and his breaking ball never really had that feel that he looked like he had in the first. When you, uh, when you have a long rain delay like that, what do you look for from Michael before making the call that he goes back out there? And just, is it a lot of conversation? Is he throwing? In the- yeah, he's throwing every 15 minutes or so. Just Stand, stand loose. I mean, we're in a bind there. I mean, with eight to cover. Mm-hmm. So, um, and he knew it. He was. He stayed prepared. Kept playing catch, and you know, kept in conversation. Make sure that everything felt fine. It did. Now, between fine and big league sharp, you know, that's two different things. Healthy was the first concern, and he, uh, he felt okay health wise. So, um, at that point, you know, we just kind of had to see what we could get, and then. Hope the guys could cover on the backside. Had some other guys that were beat up down there, so it had been hard to cover it. What did you think of uh, Josh Woods? They did a nice job. You know, got ambushed on one pretty good sinker, but you know, threw some good pitches to lefties. I knew that was something he was working on in Memphis. So was having some uh, swing and miss out pitches to to the left hand hitters, and uh, saw a couple really nice. Saw some good breaking balls the righties had troubles with, and good sink, good slider. And it looks like it definitely helped us out. Well, got us to six three. That was big. Um, you know, then we just needed to get a little momentum because we've been shut down for a while. But for him personally, <clears throat> I mean, it's you know, this isn't a fluke when you watch a guy that hits a ball that hard uh, to that part of the field off a very good pitcher. Uh, he just continues to to improve and continues to do a nice job all the way around. And um, you know. Getting past that 20 for any player at any point in their career is a big deal, let alone a kid in his first season and spent, what, the first two months out, not even here. Um, it's exciting to think of, of, of where they, where it could go in the future. Did you guys have a view of that play at the at first base with Gritchick? Did you guys come to a conclusion before the umpires did? No, we didn't. Just kind of, we were listening to what they had and um, they were kind of going back and forth with our video guys. Our video guys would have had us challenge it. Mm-hmm. So they, they had, the, I think, the angle that they showed last, the one kind of from uh, the third base dugout looked like it did get him. Um, we weren't getting a lot of argument from Randall or from Oliver, so figured that might have been the situation. Going into kind of a special game tomorrow, the series was an important series regardless of that, but the resilience that both teams have shown getting down and coming back so far in these, in these games? Yeah, no surprise. Um, no surprise for me to see that with our team, and certainly isn't a surprise for us to see it from them here. Uh, they've, they've always played that way against us, um, no matter where we play them, but especially when they're at home. And that's why we've always talked about it. you got to just keep the throttle down and keep playing the game because you know this team plays hard, and um, you know, I think that's something that can be said about our club as well.